Denise Duong, artist in Oklahoma City. I've been in Oklahoma City basically my whole life. I mean, I've moved in and out of Oklahoma City, but I feel like I've been permanently here since 2012, 13 or so. I started showing Joy Rebuilt about almost 15 years ago, or maybe it's been 15 years. And so I would say that's kind of like been the kind of like marks whenever I became, I guess, like full-time like professional artist. Being here has been really, really fun because I have a lot of history with the Paseo. Like I, whenever I was 15, I had a booth at the Paseo Arts Festival. Um, I think then I've shown the joy forever. But the the gallery kind of transformed itself into kind of like a little clubhouse. We have really fun shows during the art walk, and then everybody just kind of hangs out. I feel like I came to my style. Probably, I would say, like, you know, like, it was when I was in, living in Chicago. I think it was 19 or 20. And it all started from, I, like, some of these drawings over here actually I did in Chicago. And it was me just sitting and waiting for the subway or the bus or just sitting and people watching. So that's, like, still my, one of my favorite pastimes, but I did that a lot um, whenever I was, I was, I guess, developing my style in sense. But it's, yeah, because it, it translates from real life into more into what goes on through my head and then out into my fingertips. They're all pretty narrative. I would say, like, um, I would take the like, elements that are happening around me, but also add elements of like personal, you know, experiences or emotions that I'm going through at the time or have gone through, and just kind of. Uh, regurgitating from, from myself. Uh, let's see, Oklahoma City murals. I have the film row piece, a piece in the 21C in their train shed. And then I have an installation on the second floor that I painted on the walls and have my drawings and paintings. I also created these big cardboard ladies kind of dancing and swimming in the middle of the installation. And then, um, I still show work at JRB, Art of the Elms, and then here, and then the two girls at Falls of Falls. Oh, the bird! I have a bird with uh, Gabriel Friedman at Citadel Park. Yeah, we created that uh, for the Bright Golden Days opening. So, um, so Gabriel Friedman is a builder. He does more sculptural, like he has the Buya car out in Draper Lake, and he has done like a lot of like. Wooden structures, there's like a, a structure over at 21, or 21 at 612. But he he thought it would be a really cool idea to collaborate and create one of the images that I I do a lot of my paintings, which is the bird that I've done for probably 20 years. Like you can find it in my old work as well. And um, so we decided to collaborate and do that. And it's, it was really fun to learn from him because he's He's very meticulous and such a, you can watch his mind, just like work, and it's like really fun to learn how to work in that kind of medium. So we're excited to bring up work on more things together. Life in the Light, and they are in film row, and so one side, I think the one's facing south, um, that one kind of had a little bit more influence on the Ford uh, production, plant or production factory that's over there where 21C is. And so I was trying to do, go with more of an industrial look there. But also, um, if you look in all like the whole piece, there's just so many little stories. And, and I was trying to tell my own, my own story of things going on, as well as the story of the area. Um, but I like to hide random little stories in, in all of it. But then the other side, is to kind of highlight the film production on Film Row. They would, um, I guess they would uh, develop a lot of the film for movies on Film Row. And so I included, like, there's a guy cranking a um, Victrola, but the Victrola is also a camera. So if you look at the ends, there's two women, and um, it's uh, projecting black and white films onto their dresses. I don't know if anybody really has noticed that, but 
there's like little elements of film and like music and dance and um, yeah, small little stories. Thank you.